Hey, this is PXX RPG Queen, otherwise known as Hikari Silver, bringing you guys another amazing Let's Play. In the last episode, we basically saw some things about Conquil's past. He beat up his brother, got his strongest weapon ever, and if you never got his addition, not your addition, his Dragon Spirit in Disc 2, 3, well, you just got it now and you got a whole bunch of level grinding to do, and I feel very sorry for you. Otherwise, I'm moving forward. We're getting out of whatever version this place is, and hopefully we can meet up with Rose and Dart, as we usually do, as it seems to be a reoccurring theme for those two to be stuck together, more than with the dart Shana combo. But this is definitely an older version of the Homo Gigantos. It didn't look this pretty. Well, wait, went the wrong way. So, the thing to do here is just jump in there. This is one of the few times that Dart isn't your leader, by default. So that means the second-hand man is Lavit slash Albert when he's not around. And that's kind of cool, but it's a given since Albert is a king. So, wait, do I have room for this? No, gosh, I gotta use weapon items here. But hopefully everything is okay with Rose and Dart being alone again. And no innuendos that they did anything together again. We couldn't find Dot anywhere. Mm, maybe it's better to wait for them somewhere here rather than just blindly look around. Then let's wait here. This town is the only place there are lots of people. It seems that is the right thing to do. Well, it's the only thing to do, because that's what we're going to do. So, yeah. I understand that we lost everybody because of the dragon attacked us, but why? Why did your vassal dragon attack us, Rose? What the fuck was that? Did anybody else see that? What the fuck was that? Was it to bring the two of us here? The place filled with dragons? I think. We will find out soon. Let's go. Either to destroy the Virage Embryo or to fight against Zeke. I need everybody with me. Rose. Don't be so shocked. I trust everybody too. That thing just swallowed a dragon. What the fuck are those? Rose, what are these? This is a baby dragon. It was called a pseudo dragon. Pseudo dragon. It seems everything, including the future and past, exists here. My favorite pseudo dragons didn't make it to the present age, but I am encountering the past now. But we don't have time to be sentimental. Let's go. Well, they look friendly and like dragonflies more than dragons, but very sad how Rose is just reminiscing about dragons and whatnot, right? Very sad. Oh, look, boxes. Okay, fuck this. Okay, I'm gonna discard some shit. Uh, night raid, and downverse, I'll get rid of. Forest, you gotta just replace it with another night raid, makes sense, right? Wait a little. He's calling me over there. Okay. So that's how we would leave. I'm presuming. That just reminds me. Since we're gonna probably get into a boss fight, let's properly make sure that Rose can't die. Per 
per se. Yep, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not the first time we've been alone with Rose and fought battles, but... I don't want to die here. In any sense. At all. Just not, not for it today. Ooh, that actually looks like a dragon. First thing I've ever seen today that looks like a dragon. Die. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. All right. Go. Sweet. It's dead. We're getting, unfortunately, closer and closer to the end of this Let's Play. Maybe 10-ish more videos. I think. And it makes me a little bit sad. But also kind of happy, because this Let's Play is very long, too. But it was a good one. <sighs> Burning light. So what did I actually throw out? <laughs> At least they're ultra powerful attacks. Like, they're not useless. But that's how we would leave. Weird moon. Our heart materializes itself in the moon. Of course, we fight something before we fight. A real fight. Makes sense, right? get into this battle. It doesn't really look like a dragon. I knew it. I know this place. It's where I met Michael for the first time. Weird, weird flashback. Darkness dragon. Sorry, we don't have time. Wingleys are mighty, mighty enough to annihilate us and the entire species. In order to liberate humans, we have to sacrifice you, dragon. Now is the time to decide extinction or war. We choose war. The dragon spirit left by the darkness dragon and this newborn dragon will be the spearhead of the war. This baby needs a name. Black Burst Dragon Michael. How about Michael? Rose's Vassal Dragon, the Darkness Dragon, the Black Burst Dragon Michael. It's a good name. So now we can go. Yes. The real war has not started yet. So, Rose was more kind and understanding back then, clearly, and had problems with killing dragons. Michael, don't you recognize me? Nope, that thing does not recognize her. Okay, so don't bother attacking this thing for the first few rounds, it's just invisible. Invincible. Concentrate on either building your SP or just block all of his attacks. And after some point, Rose will have the option of revealing Michael's weak point. Choose that option, the dragon's weak point is its heart. After its attacks with the dark cannon, we can let loose on its heart. Ow. Like I said, don't bother. 
if you do decide to attack Michael, he roughly has about 1,500 to 2,000 HP. Michael, it's me, Rose. Don't you recognize me? It seems not to be working. It's out of control, just like last time. He forgot the pride of the dragon and turned himself into a mere raving piece. It has a wildness even beyond that of Fabrian. Damn! Was Fabrian really that wild? Because I don't, I don't recall that. I mean, you don't have to attack it. 1500 to 2000 HP isn't a lot, but... I can win this battle without really hitting it. Ow! Cybersonic attack, okay. And it doesn't hurt Rose because she has the Darkness Dragon armor. It's great to know. Ow. Don't like these psycho beams, man. Could live without this. Don't attack my goal. It's not worth it. It's very hard to. What a dragon! It yields to neither sword nor magic. The darkness dragon is the strongest dragon of all, having the best attack and defense, along with having the best agility. I don't need to hear about it. Is there any way to defeat him? Well, Rose's dragon basically is what he, what she just described. Like when she's in dragon mode, those things are all true. She doesn't have the best dragon spirit. I think Dart kind of does. But she's one of the faster ones. Yet yeah, Rose is never going to take damage at this rate. Pretty much it's just Dart taking damage. Or not. Yep, it's just Rose taking damage. Not taking damage. Darn it. Come on, Rose. Like, how do we beat this thing? Michael's shell is special armor for the Darkness Dragon. It repels any attack by the enemy. What should we do? There's only one blind spot. What is it? Tell me now! What is with the cliffhanger, Rose? Granted, I don't like when in a battle solely by guarding. At least, at least Rose took some damage. I feel better now. That it's not just Dart. Because that's the dragon that actually does appear when she does her Darkness Dragon attack in her Dragoon mode. Now that I think about it, yeah, I think it is. And it would make sense. But Rose has feelings, so it's great. What should I do? Don't say I can't. Don't be a dick. Just tell Dart the blind spot. After he shoots the black laser, his defense falls a second, showing his heart. That's his only weak spot. And they spelled weak wrong. So now I have to guard and guard until he does his laser shot thing. Yay, he did his laser shot thing. Hopefully we can kill him in like two or three attacks. Yes! Touch! Go! Touch! Touch! Go! Oh, his core. My bad. Now his core is 1500. So if it's still open. Yeah, it's still open. Yes! Tennis! Go! Tennis! Tennis! Go! Which we should be able to do with one attack. Like that. Sweet. 
wasn't that long of a boss battle in the grand scheme of things because we just had to wait for dialogue, but not a gr not a grand voice one. All right, decent H uh, XP. Shouldn't have to gain gold. Hmm. A dragon's body is capable of enormous endurance, but its heart is not. After many fights, it became savage and starts to blindly attack people, and in the end, it won't listen to the orders of dragoons either. That's why I killed Michael. I killed him with these hands. That's enough of looking back at the past. You have to live for 10,000 years because you didn't want to see the future to be destroyed, right, Rose? You are right. Thank you. You reminded me of what's important. Let's look for Albert and the others. Then we have to head to the core of the moon. Alright, well, grand scheme of things, Rose does have emotions. So I'm going to end my Let's Play here, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like my Facebook page. Really like it. Description's right there. Follow me on Twitter and check out my blog. And stay tuned for next time for some more amazing Let's Play action.